Squally, David Williamson and the Pendragons, all on the Magic Comedy Strip. Do you examine that and make sure there are no trap doors, escaping gases, no mirrors or strings? Does it look good and solid? No Scientology hidden in there? All right, the idea is to try to remove the ring from the rope without untying the knot. An ancient Chinese puzzle rarely seen these days, and with good reason. It was created by the famous Chinese philosopher Wingtip Shu. I don't know. Not a scholar. Look, the idea is to try to remove the ring from the rope without untying the knot. Watch Jackie. I'll double the rope through the ring. You hold the ring while I hold the rope. Beautifully done. Your technique is flawless. Let's hear it for Jackie. Yeah! All right. See, Jackie, the ring was never really on the rope to begin with, but if I toss, it ties itself back on. Here, you hold the ring. I'll hold the rope. The secret is this. I have a pair of magic scissors that's cut right through the rope like that. No, you don't have to clap. <laughs> Magic scissors, Jackie, cutting through the rope. You act like you don't. <laughs> Never mind. No, Jackie, the only way to catch me is to watch the two ends. I keep them fastened together with super glue like this. Pardon me. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes right back together. Now, Jackie, the only way to catch me is to keep your eyes on the two ends. Keep one eye on this end and one eye on this end. <laughs> Difficult to do. <laughs> Jackie, you're talented. Oh, oh, go crazy. Jackie, the only way to catch me is to watch the two ends, which go into the pocket. Into the pocket. Did I say into the pocket yet? Quite sorry. Into the pocket, except for this one. Uh, which stays out here with that one. Uh, and the middle is in the, this is the applause cue, Jackie. Pocket. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Jackie. Yes. Give me a dance for a second. Dance. Dance. Get the car, Jackie. Please, save it. Save it, save it, I'll need it later for the finish. A little bit of sleight of hand right amongst you in the middle of the audience, something for both anyone to see. You would be excited. I'm so glad you dressed for this. This is very, <laughs> this is good. You don't mind helping me for just a moment? No, no, no. Good, what's your name? Jamie. Jamie? Jamie, right? Yeah. yeah, good, and your name? Andy. Andy, how do you do? How are you? That's, that's good. The, the light socket worked, didn't it? That's <laughs> <laughs> 
that's, I won't scare you at all. This is very nice. This is good. Now watch a little bit of sleight of hand with a new little object I found. This is one of those old, uh, uh, it's an English penny, but it's an old one. It's a one penny. And this is a half dollar uh, from the United States. We're going to use both of these. And Jamie, you're just going to help for just a moment. I'm going to place both coins in the hand. You pay close attention. Got the idea? Yeah. And don't, 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 don't fall asleep on me now. <laughs> we got the copper coin, which is the penny. We got the silver coin, which is the half dollar. Now watch, if I take one out, right in front of your nose. You can always see which one I take out of the hands at all time. Place it inside the pocket. You saw that, hmm? Did you? You like this view? <laughs> How many coins in the hand? One. One, no, you're half right. Look, we'll try it again, take a look. Now watch, the silver coin and the copper coin. I'm gonna do this as many times as it does till you like it. Watch, you can see the copper and you can see the silver, yes? Yeah. Watch, take just one coin out. You can always see at all times which one I take out. There, you happy? You bet. Good. <laughs> Place that one inside the pocket. Little click, how many inside the hand, quick? One. Oh, well, you tried again, no problem. We'll do this one more time. <laughs> Take a look. We could be, just talk amongst yourselves. We could be, <laughs> God, that is very nice. Take a look, watch. Silver coin, copper coin, watch. We'll do this very, very slowly, just in case you didn't catch it. Andy? Hmm. <laughs> both coins, watch. You can see both sides, yep. penny and the silver coin. Watch, slowly now. You know, you can gang up on me if you want. You guys can watch this hand. You guys can watch this hand. That's right. You can watch whatever else you want, by the way. <laughs> Hang on, got the idea? Look at how slow I'm going. Take a look. See? 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 Do you see it going, Andy? Yes, you do. Take a look. Do you see it? One more time. Until the very, very last. Do you see it? Ah, good, good. The hand comes out. Nothing here? Yes? Good. How many inside? How many inside the hand? There is definitely one now. Ooh, too bad. There's two. Look, we're going to try this one more time. <laughs> it's <laughs> Look, we're trying. Oh, no. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We'll try it one more time. Now, this, both of you can sort of watch this very carefully. Look at you. Hold on to my wrist real tight, just like you did last night. Ooh, what a man. <laughs> <laughs> hang on to this wrist. Good. Now, you, now you're going to have to give me some slack because we're going to be coming. Oh, you might want to you might want to use the other. There you go. Good, 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 good. God, get rid of that tie. Watch this. <laughs> hey, could you see both? Yep. Okay, got the idea? Now, don't let it go up my sleeve. We'll go inside. Andy will allow me to come over, grab the one penny. That's it. Inside of the pocket. If you'd like to go down inside and check it out, you may. Yeah. Hey, you wimp! Check it out. Nothing else. <laughs> what a call for the obvious, eh? That's, that's no, but that's good. That was your job, Andy. One more time, Jamie, for me, how many coins inside the hand? Two. Ooh, you were so close. Good try. <laughs> Give a big round of applause. Thank you. It's amazing. Magic amongst the people. Ah! Ah! Hi, golly, folks. They're giggling already and they don't know what the heck's going to happen. Right, your first name? Debbie. What a memory. Now, and your name, sir? <laughs> Andy. Andy, are you? Well, don't stand too close to her then. Right. <laughs> Okay, Debbie, first of all, I want you to look at this, if you would. This is a lump of steel with two holes in it. I know they're holes because they go right through from one side to the other. Otherwise, they will be dense. <laughs> you know the difference? Yep. Of course you do. I've seen your car. Now, listen. <laughs> Hold that in front of you, my love, and look at it. Now she's looking at it. And she's thinking, what is he going to put through those two holes? <laughs> Now, you, sir, I want you to examine it. But it's thin steel. Don't bend it, whatever you do. But make sure the holes are for real, with no splits, no cracks, nothing dodgy, nothing peculiar. But don't bend it. Okay. While, Debbie, I showed you the carrying case for that steel blade. This is a little case. Okay. It's a bit like the Dartford Tunnel, you see, <laughs> all right? One of them's always shut. Right. <laughs> is that all right? Yes. A nice, bright blade, and the holes are for real. If you drop this into the top, ladies and gentlemen, it slides straight the way down. In other words, whatever is in the holes is in the way, which is where these two come in and where one of them could go out. <laughs> Debbie, your left hand under there, love. That's it. Move over here. And, sir, your right hand under there. Tremendous. <laughs> Lovely. Hold it between you. Okay. That's great. This way, just a little. Now, get steady and put your hands through the holes. <laughs> bit more, bit more. I want the watch. Right, now then. <laughs> now, tell me, can you feel the blade pulling up on you? Yes. 
Well, take your hands out, you silly things. Come on, now then. OK, now this time, slightly differently. Hold it as steady as you can. Now I'm going to raise the blade up and wedge it to one side. Oh, hold it steady now. Wedge it slowly. Now then, hands back carefully with your fingers straight out in front. But don't shake it or wobble it. Straight out. And you. Waggle your fingers. You can't later. <laughs> Touch hands. Pack it up. There's no need for that. <laughs> now, both of you, let your hands go like first thing in the morning. <laughs> I bet he's early for work on a Monday. <laughs> now, isn't he? <laughs> now then. Handcuffs, my darling. Don't wriggle, cos these will get tight. This is to stop the hands rolling about on the floor. We'll keep them together. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Right. Now, this is exciting. This has never gone wrong. Because I've never done it before. <laughs> How would you like it, quick or slow? Both of you? <laughs> hey? Both hands will drop off at the same time. Here we go, then. Hold tight and down! Did you feel anything? Of course not, it's a trick. <laughs> it's one of these mechanical, boring loads of nonsenses. <laughs> but lovely friends, I want to show you something. You may have seen these sort of things, but never ever have you seen one come completely to pieces. Look, there is the front. It is a piece of wood. There is the back, Debbie. That's another piece of wood. Would you raise your two hands up in the air? Drop the bottom into my hands. All this is is two pieces of wood. Look at the state of them, and what about that? Look at them there. Hold it up. Let them see what you've done there. Well, I hope you'll both be very happy together. Um, <laughs> what's it worth to find the key, Debbie? <laughs> and you, sir, what's it worth not to find the key? <laughs> you, my love, if you are drinking tonight, please do hold the glass in two hands, because it may have weakened your wrist. <laughs> you, sir, I don't know what you do left-handed, but do nothing for two weeks, all right? <laughs> I give them both an enormous round of applause. There they are. It's near time for magic and comedy with things you might find at a boot sale. <laughs> Ready? What? You're going to love this. Ready? Look. Do you think I put too much mousse on me hair? <laughs> oh, look at this one. Brilliant, eh? And now the end is near, and so I face that final curtain. It's a club singer. <laughs> Brilliant, see that? That's a capon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, why did the Mexican throw his wife off the cliff? Tequila, did it? Dun 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 It's a tuna fish. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's near time for balloon modelling. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Justine, and she's showing you the latest fashion from Jasper Condon. <laughs> Once this hits the streets, all the discerning balloons will be wearing this kind of thing. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I went on holiday two years ago to Taiwan, right, and I bought these shoes in Taiwan High Street. I thought, I wonder where they're made. And I looked on the bottom, and it says, just round the corner, right? <laughs> it's near time for the ventriloquistic shoes. Hello, hello. What's your name? My name's Malcolm. What's yours? My name's Melvin. Do you smoke, Melvin? No, I don't, Malcolm. Do you? No. Do you take drugs? No fear, matey. Same here. Now, that's what I call a sensible pair of shoes. <laughs> Lee, take any card you like. Oh, excellent choice. The reason I gave you the two of diamonds is because there's lots of room on there to write your name with this marker. Take the uh, marker and you can write your name on the card. Take it off. I was just tying my shoe. <laughs> just a gag. Now write your name, Lee, in big, bold, giant-sized jumbo letters. L-E-E. -E. Thank you, Lee. 
Yes, that's a one-of-a-kind card, just like Lee is a one-of-a-kind kind of guy. That's the only two of diamonds in existence with your name on it, I bet you. Yep. Probably so, in your handwriting. Yep. Okay, Lee, we're just gonna set that off to the side for now. Now, Lee, your card, the two of diamonds, goes into the center of the pack. Oh, fair enough, about halfway down, wouldn't yep. you say? Now, do you live here in this part of the country? Nope. You notice how Lee meets my gaze <laughs> when I ask him this question? That's because he's a polite person. Uh, but I take advantage of his good nature. Remember, we put your card in the middle of the pack. If you take a look at it now, it's back on top. Now, Lee, I'm going to do that again. The reason I have you write your name so you don't think I'm using a duplicate card. This is the same technique that's used in Atlantic City and Monte Carlo and Las Vegas by those card sharks who want to take your money. Look, your card goes into the center of the pack. Fair enough? Yep. Now, is this your first time to a TV studio? Look, he looked at my face again. Come on, Lee. When are you going to learn, man? Wise up. Look, it jumps to the top again. It's your good nature. Now, look, I want to show you. Let's do that again. It's your good nature to look at me when I speak. You're doing it now. See, Lee, you're doing it now. Try to focus on the pack of cards. See, Lee, you'd have no chance in Atlantic City. Another free drink, Lee? Yeah, that'd be nice. Wham! They make the switch. Now, Lee, come on. Pay attention. Watch yeah. the cards. Yeah. Don't divert your gaze, okay, Lee? Keep looking at the top of the pack. Don't look at me no matter how much I want you to look at my face, okay, yeah. Lee? I'm not angry with you, Lee. I just get excited when it comes to tricks with cards, okay? Look. Oh, you did it! You did it! You did it! Come on, Lee. It's too easy with Lee. Lee, you're too easy. You're too polite. You're too nice, Lee. Maybe you like me too much. Come on, let's rough it up, Lee. Come on, man. Let's go a couple rounds. That's right. Get mad at me, Lee. Get mad at the cards. You just... I'm not looking. <laughs> All right? I'm not looking. No, come on, Lee. Pay attention to the cards. It goes into the center of the pack. Now, I had a corn dog earlier. Ah, see, look at that. <laughs> look at you, Lee. Lee! Lee, you're hopeless, Lee. You're a hopelessly nice guy. You're too nice, Lee. Now, Lee, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Burn the top of the pack, okay? I know it's hard to resist this face. But, Lee, you have to watch the top of the pack. I'm not allowed to tell you how it's done, but I can show you how it's done. I'll do it so slow that you can't help but see how the trick is done. Look, your card goes into the center of the pack. Now watch, Lee, even though I tell you I'm taking the top card and putting it in the center. Watch, Lee. Watch closely, Lee. Pay close attention. Lee, do you see what I've just done? To my card, to the center. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did I do, Lee? What did I really do there? No, what did... I ran out card there. Which one? Top one. Lee, you have to pay attention, oh. Lee. I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna go... You know what? Oh, open your hands for just a second. Now, this is fun, because look... I'm gonna explain the secret to Lee. Lee, I knew you were coming tonight, and I had a duplicate of your handwriting in my files, and that's it right there. That's a duplicate of your card. See, I think I have a third one here. There's one, there's two, and if I cut the pack, yeah, there's the third one right there. Now, Lee, all three of these cards look alike at first glance. You hold these for just a second. The bottom card says Lee, the top card says Lee, that's a fax, and the one in the center looks just like your card. You see, I have a miniature fax machine in my shorts. I don't tell most people about that, but when I snap my fingers, your card vanishes. That's because it was never really there, Lee. It's mass hypnotism. It's vanished completely. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. Very good card. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Lee, thanks a lot for helping us.
What a show. It was scrumptious. Ooh, I liked it too. And so did I. Well, say goodnight, Mr. Dante. Good, good night, night, Mr. Dante. Dante.